claims responsibility for a shooting at a college campus. Authorities say he used to be a police officer. Good evening. I'm Stephen Romo. Thanks for joining us. New tonight, that information on the breaking news we first brought you on KJRH.com. Investigators have identified the man responsible for Friday night's shooting at Rogers State University. Two News reporter Nathan Edwards live tonight on campus to give us some insight on that man's past. Nate. It's calm as students study for finals week, but it was far from calm last night when shots were fired here near Prep Hall. OSBI investigators tell 2 News that the shooter is 38 year old Thomas Fees, a former Tulsa police officer that resigned in 2010 after pointing a gun at someone in a bar while intoxicated. Friday night, investigators say Fees was trying to confront a female student in the Fine Arts Annex building behind Prep Hall. He fired his gun at the building multiple times, shattering the door. Police say he then turned the gun on himself and committed suicide. Police later found his body in the girl who was unharmed. We found out today that Fees had been arrested Thursday after entering that same female student's house trying to confront her then. A report states that Fees was upset because she, quote, didn't love him anymore. The student asked him to leave, but he wouldn't. She called police and he threatened to kill himself if they showed up. Now, right now, investigators are trying to piece together what exactly happened on the days leading up to this incident here and uh, to get more insight on what caused him to shoot his gun here at Rogers State University. Point live in Claremore tonight, Nathan Edwards, 2 News works for you. All right, Nate, thanks. And new tonight, more details about what the president of Roger State University is saying about that incident. He posted this message on Facebook saying in part, quote, while this was a terrible tragedy, we are blessed that no member of the RSU family was injured during that incident. He also said that the university is working directly with the student involved and all of those who were impacted by this shooting.